Hey everybody, this is example number six for structural dynamics for damp free vibrations. The problem statement that we have is a simply supported W24 by 62 steel beam spans a length of 50 feet and supports a concentrated 20 kip load at its center. And the free oscillations of the beam experience an amplitude decay of 0.75% per cycle. Assuming that the mass of the beam is negligible compared to the concentrated load, we need to find the structural damping coefficient and the equivalent viscous damping coefficient. And Young's modulus E is equal to 29,000 KSI. So here's our uh, simply supported steel beam. It's 50 feet long and it has a concentrated load of 20 kip at its center. And we call the load uh, 20 kips equal to W. And the total length is equal to 50 feet, so 25 feet is L over 2 and L over 2. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our damp free vibration problem. The first thing we need to do is calculate the ratio of the successive amplitudes so that's going to be equal to xi divided by xi plus 1. So that's equal to xi and then divided by 1 minus 0 0.0075 because we have a 0.75% decay. So to capture this, we do 1 minus, to get it into decimal place, we get, uh, to get it into decimal format, it's 0 0.0075. So 1 minus 0 0.0075 times xi. And so this ratio is equal to 1.00756. This is our ratio of successive amplitudes. Next, uh, we can calculate the structural damping coefficient based on this relationship that the ratio of the successive amplitudes is approximately equal to 1 plus pi times eta. And eta is a structural damping coefficient. And this relationship is valid for small values of, of eta. It's valid for small values of the structural damping coefficient. So we'll go ahead and use this relationship and solve for the structural damping coefficient and then check our assumption. And check the assumption if the structural damping coefficient is a very small value. So we have 1.00756 equals 1 plus pi times eta. I wrote n, but it should be, it's really a Greek letter, so it should be like that. And so the structural damping coefficient equals 0 0.0024. And so we can see that this uh, value is quite small, so our assumption is valid, and we can use the relationship, uh, we can use this relationship. Next, we're going to calculate, one, uh, now that we've calculated the structural damping coefficient, now we can move on to calculating the equivalent viscous damping coefficient. But to do that, we need to first calculate the stiffness. And for a simply supported beam with the load at the mid span, the stiffness will be equal to 48 times Young's modulus times moment of inertia of the beam divided by the length cubed. So that comes out to be and the moment of inertia, we can get that from, you should just search that online or you can look at, check that out in the steel manual if you need it. And so, and also don't forget to multiply the length over here by 12 inches to get it into inches. So the stiffness is equal to 10 kips per inch. After this, we need to calculate the mass. 
and the mass is equal to the weight divided by the gravitational acceleration. So the concentrated load is equal to 20 kips, so 20,000 pounds, divided by uh, g, which is 386.4 inches per second squared. So our mass is equal to 51.76 pounds second squared per inch. Then we can calculate the circular natural frequency, and that's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. So that's equal to 13.9 radians per second. And lastly, we can now calculate the equivalent viscous damping coefficient based on this relationship, that it's equal to eta, the structural damping coefficient, times the stiffness divided by the circular natural frequency. So we just plug in the numbers, and we find that the equivalent viscous damping coefficient is equal to 1.73 pounds second uh, per inch. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like, uh, like the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And please also visit the website and sign up for our email uh, list where you can stay up to date on the latest content that we're producing at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.